Okay, folks, we are at day 10 of incubation. Day 10 is the first point in incubation where you can start candling eggs. So candling eggs is a process of basically shining light into an egg um, to see um, if there is development, if there is, and uh, if the development looks healthy and it's continuing. Um, and basically for goose eggs, uh, it's a bit too early to check before day 10 to really know for sure. Um, and chicken eggs, you can check more like day seven, but duck and goose eggs, um, it's better to check around about day 10. So this egg that I'm killing right now is an egg that was not fertilized. Um, we see absolutely no development happening in this egg whatsoever. Um, so basically, uh, it's pretty translucent. Lucent. You can see the egg white and the yolk in there, the shadow, and you can't see anything else. Okay. You will notice that this egg looks much different than the unfertilized egg. It's still very difficult to see on video, um, but this we can see some early development. So you can see kind of a black spot in the egg. That is the growing embryo. And you can see some blood vessels stretched out there. So those blood vessels are super important um, they are carrying oxygen uh, into our developing embryo because everything requires oxygen. All living things require oxygen to grow and develop. And so those blood vessels are carrying the oxygen to our growing embryo. And so you might be wondering, how is oxygen uh, getting to our growing embryo? So if you think of blood vessels um, in an egg, think of them as being similar to um, an umbilical cord in a mother's belly. So the umbilical cord carries nutrients and oxygen to the growing um, baby. And so, um, so does the blood vessels to the growing embryo within the egg. So if you uh, were to um, magnify an eggshell. Um, it has very, 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 very tiny holes. So oxygen is able to get in through these very, very, very tiny holes um, and then is absorbed into the blood vessel, which then travels to the baby and carbon dioxide is expelled in the same manner. Okay, after candling all 64 eggs, we have taken 14 eggs out. So these 14 eggs, um, we're not showing any signs of development. So they were most likely not fertile. Um, and the other possibility too, is that we have some young female geese. Um, and so when females are very young, like they're not even quite a year old, so they are laying eggs, um, but they're quite young. And so when you have, uh, young females, oftentimes um, their eggs are are not really viable yet. Um, they can be, uh, but sometimes those early eggs when they're younger are not. And so these could be some from our younger geese or some that just were not uh, ever fertile or for whatever reason nature decided that they were not going to develop. Um, so we had 64, we've taken 14 out. So we have at this point 50 eggs still left in the incubator. And so um, sometimes when you're candling it's not a perfect science and uh, eggshells are thick and hard to see and so the 50 eggs that we left in lots of them looked fantastic and we could see some beautiful blood vessels and clear growth and then there's some that are a little cloudy um, that you're not as sure um, but when we begin to candle a little bit later on uh, it, it does become more clear uh, at later stages of development whether that is a healthy living growing and developing egg or if in fact that egg has started to develop and then has has died um, 
and then at that point we would take the egg out. Um, in the past, kiddos have asked me if we're if the egg is not developing, why don't we just leave it in there until the end, in case just in case we're really really sure or uh, or unsure. Uh, about the egg and so the reason why once we're feeling pretty confident that an egg is not growing and developing we take it out because you run the risk of that egg um, growing bacteria uh, and eggs will if they start to grow bacteria they can explode you do not you most definitely do not want a rotting egg in your incubator uh, exploding that is going to put bacteria and germs um, all over your incubator and on eggs which then can um, could put the other eggs at risk as well and it's a very unpleasant <laughs> so it is important that when an egg is no longer developing or has not started to develop and won't develop that it needs to come out of the warm humid incubator